For three days, this beautiful pastel colored Italian village is taken over by festival goers for the dancing of the estuaries of Biza sand, raving in the magical forest and refueling on the street food from around the world. It attracts more sophisticated 30-something crowd who crave after spa standard massages and pop-up musical bingo, as well as live indie bands, comedy, and DJs. Let's go over to Ashton Town with entertainment news. Hello, my name is Taylor. And my name is Ashton. Welcome to entertainment news. Today, we're going to share with you the top 10 songs so far in 2017. In no particular order. According to shares, likes, mentions, and social media, and calculated by Google. Despacito by Louis Fonzi. Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. Unforgettable by French Montana. I'm the One by DJ Cal. Attention by Charlie Puth. Wild Thoughts by DJ Cal. Humble by Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> Stay by Alyssa Cara. It, it Ain't Me by Kygo. Something Just Like This by Coldplay. See you next time on Entertainment Girls. On Entertain now let's go over to Ani with Teacher Interview. <laughs> Welcome back to Teacher Interview. I'm Ani and today we have Miss Hansen. Hi everybody! Hi Miss Hansen. My first question for you is how long have you been teaching? Oh, I've been teaching uh, 21 years. That's a long time. My second question is for you is what was your favorite subject when you were in school and why? Favorite subject in school would be math. Definitely math. Um, I just, it comes natural love working with numbers and and I when I first got introduced to algebra that was great because they brought letters into math that was good for my third question I'm gonna ask you what is your favorite movie Ooh, um, I love Tolkien movies so Lord of the Rings definitely the first one because it's a trilogy fellowship of the ring for another question is, what has been your favorite grade level to teach? Favorite grade level? Well, um, I've taught everything from kindergarten to high school, so I would say my favorite is middle school. I just love that age. Anywhere, you know, sixth, seventh, eighth grade, that's my favorite because they understand my sarcasm. That was all for teacher interview. I think. Thank you for coming, Ms. Hansen. Oh, well, thank you for having me. Thank you, Ms. Hansen. Now let's go over to Natalia with Fun Fact Trivia. Hi, my name is Natalia, and welcome to Fun Fact Trivia. Here are three questions to get one to right. Is it A, gorillas can catch human colds and other illnesses? Is it B, newborn Chinese water deer is almost so small it can almost be held in the palm of the hand? Or is it C, ostriches can run faster than horses? You have 10 seconds, guess which one's right. If you guessed A, you are correct. See you next time on Fun Fact Trivia. Thanks, Natalia. Now let's go over with Hannah to, for Joke of the Week. joke of the week. My name is Hannah. Today we have Kylie here from Miss Hansen's sixth grade class. Hi everyone. Kylie, um, what's a joke? Knock knock. Who's, who's there? there? Broken pencil. Broken, Broken pencil, pencil who? Never mind, it's pointless. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kylie. If if you have a joke and you would like to be on the news, go go to the link below and we'll be and we'll be glad to have you on. Thanks, Hannah. Now let's go over to Smart Art with Amelia. <laughs> Welcome to Smarter, I'm Amelia, and today I will be drawing a character I made named Kida. And there you have it, that is how you draw the character I made called Kida. See you next time on Smarter. Thanks, Amelia. Now let's go over to Eric and Jackson with Weird News. My name is Jackson. My name is Eric. Welcome to Weird News. A rabbit that dunks basketballs? That's pretty impressive, even if you can't don't care at all for sports. A five-year-old Holland Lop rabbit 
has been trained to dunk basketballs by owner Shai Azor. He has recently honored with a Guinness World Record for most basketball slam dunks in one minute by a rabbit. What is that world record? Seven dunks in one minute is a, a hair-raising achievement. She was a thief, just like any puppy. Cook told the dotto. She used to steal stuff out of all her bags, including money, and instead of chasing her around the house, we would kind of bribe her with treats. So when we had money in her mouth, we didn't want her to eat it. So we would say, here, Holy, take the treat and give me the treat money. So I clicked on her in her head if she, she has the money, so she will get treats. That's all for our news. See you next time. Thank you, Jackson and Eric. Let's go over to Ms. with Ms. Burton for a special announcement. Good morning, Chartesso staff, students, and parents. I have several announcements. Um, students, we are starting Galileo testing today, Wednesday and Thursday for second through eighth grade students, and we will have makeups on Friday in the library with Ms. Burton. Please, please try your best. These tests are very, very important so we can see what you know and what we still need to reteach. These assessments also will be graded, so please take them seriously. On Saturday, we have our third annual um, VEX skills event where we have invited nine different schools throughout the valley and 23 teams among those schools will be attending. Please come support our school and watch other schools compete on Saturday from nine to three in the Tartesso cafeteria. We have two after school clubs that had not started yet this school year and they will be starting this week. So we have our KC2 program starting on Thursday with Cross Point Church. And then we also have our soccer club starting on Friday. Um, during the um, Vex Robotics Tournament, PTO will be selling pizza, drinks, and other candy. So please make sure you were there to support our school. Thank you and have a great week. Thank you, Ms. Burton. Now let's go over to you with Keegan and Sierra with our new special segment. Hello, my name is Sierra. And my name is Keegan. Welcome, Welcome to our special segment about, about fire safety. safety. October is, is Fire Safety, safety month. month. But what you may not know is that the fire department does more than just put out fires. We also help with rescuing animals and people from houses after tornadoes and hurricanes. If, if you are stuck in a building during a fire, you might want, want to crawl on the ground so you will not inhale the smoke. If your clothes are on fire, you will want to stop, drop, and roll. It is also important to talk to your parents about fire safety escape plans so you know what to do in case of a oh, an emergency. Knowing, Knowing what, what to do in case of a fire will help, help you keep, keep you and your family safe. safe. Here's an example. First you want to stop, then drop, then roll. It should look like this. That's all for our fire safety segment. See you next time. Thank you guys. Now let's go over with Khalil with why we should be in A plus school. Welcome back to why we should be in A plus school. Right now we have Nick David from Miss Wright's from Miss Wright's class and Nick, why should we be in A-plus school? I believe that we should be in A-plus school because we all treat each other with kindness and we always help each other. And if we're ever down, we're always there for each other. And that's why I think we should be in A-plus school. Thanks, Nick. Well, that's it for why we should be in A-plus school. We'll see you next time. A reminder, remember that Wednesdays we have cake pops for sale after school. We have Kona Every Thursday, there's Kona Ice at lunch recess. And every Friday, PTO will be selling candy outside. Before we go, let's take a look at the Penny Wars leaderboard. That's all for TNN. See you next time.